Hey everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial on setting up and running LDRA using a Docker container. By the end of this video, you'll have LDRA fully operational inside a container, allowing for an isolated and reproducible environment. First, make sure Docker is installed on your system. You can either use Docker Desktop or Docker Engine. Also ensure you have access to the LDRA installation files or a pre-built Docker image that includes LDRA. And lastly, make sure you have enough memory to run analysis on your files. A good rule of thumb is to have at least 100 gigabytes available. If you have access to a pre-built LDRA Docker image, you can pull it using the Docker pull command. Otherwise, you can build your own Docker image by installing the LDRA tools into the container and configuring the environment. This Docker file is setting up a Docker image that we will then use to install the tool suite onto. This is the Docker file that installs LDRA tool suite with the LDRA installation command that's on line 28. But this also helps set up the environment so you can hit the ground running. The next step is to build the image. I'll do that using this batch script. Once that image is built, I can now run analysis, which I will do using this batch script. Line one runs my container, Lines three through five run different analysis phases, including dynamic analysis and generating reports. Now it's time to run LDRA inside the container. Using the script to build the container, Now it's time to run LDRA inside the container. Using the run command, script, I'm going to go ahead and run the LDRA tool suite. This script will run a build import phase, importing my project by parsing through the build log, correctly identifying the location of my source files, header files, and any preprocessor macros. Then it will import the generated build target file, or BTF run static analysis on all my files, and even run an instrumented execution of those files so that I can get some code coverage. Once that completes, it will generate my reports, placing them in a shared directory between the container and my host machine so that I can review them locally or share them elsewhere. Once all of these phases are complete, the script will stop, remove the container, which will help me create an efficient and repeatable process. And as you can see, we have now have our reports populated here in the shared host machine, and I can open them up and review my reports. Here's the test manager report. You can see we also have our code review report with the MISRA compliance. This is MISRA compliant code, and we have our code coverage data here based off of that dynamic analysis that was performed. That's it. You now have LDA running successfully inside a Docker container. Thanks for watching and happy coding. Please contact us for help with your own projects or for copies of the Docker files or scripts used in this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. 